Gamer here, and today there's no game behind me. I'm not playing a game because today we're doing something else really, really exciting. Building a gaming PC! That is right! A gaming PC! This is really, really exciting for me and awesome! If you haven't seen some of my more recent videos on Minecraft, I play on a MacBook. And it's not very powerful, and it doesn't have a lot, a lot of great performance on Minecraft, even with optimization mods. And when I record my videos and turn on shaders and stuff, it, it really doesn't, doesn't work too well. Now, I have done a lot of research, um, and I've looked into parts and all kinds of things, check compatibility, and I've made a spreadsheet here, and uh, right here, and I've calculated tracking info, shipping, tax, the cost, all kinds of things, so then I can know exactly when they're, when they're going to come and plan it all out, and my parents did a final check. Um, right before we ordered everything, just to make sure that it's all compatible. And there's only two parts left, and I've been waiting at the door every day, and every part, slowly but surely, has come. So let's see if they've arrived. Oh my gosh, that is a corn center box. That means they're finally here, the last two parts! Yes! Woohoo! We can finally build it! Okay guys, I'm going to give you a breakdown on each individual part and give you a lot of information about why I picked it and all kinds of things like that. So first up, in the order of the spreadsheet, is the graphics card. This is an RTX 3050 GPU graphics processing unit and why this I tried to be most mo, really economical with all the other parts um, going for slightly cheaper options but for this I really splurged because this was this was three hundred dollars and why I why I really splurged on the graphics card was because it the graphics card is the most important for gaming um, because games are run pretty much most of the processing you'll be doing in games is graphics because without graphics a game wouldn't be a game because you wouldn't be seeing anything and games like minecraft specifically take a lot of power to process um properly and smoothly especially with shaders and while i'm recording videos so I decided to go with the RTX 3050. It has ray tracing. It's really, really powerful. It has two fans. And, you know, it has overclocking things and all kinds of things where you can take full control of it. It has 8 gigabytes of memory. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, next up on, on the list is the motherboard and CPU, which is really cool. It has a lot of stuff that I don't understand what it does. So... Um, this is where the RAM goes in, I think. And this is where the SSD connects, I think. And then there's a bunch of other things that do something. But people who know their way around a PC would know that I have a CPU already installed in here. So we actually got this off of eBay um, for $150. And we got it with an Intel Core i7-8700K already in there and installing the cpu is one of the most dangerous and hardest parts of installing a pc so that's exciting that we don't have to do that because we could ruin everything um and it has ddr4 ram four slots um for memory stuff and um why why this is so important is because a pc would not be a pc without the motherboard of course, that is all processing, power, like you have all, like your memory and your storage and all of that, but it can't run without a motherboard. Because the motherboard is what does all the, all the computer, like, stuff. And I actually went, this is an MSI B360M um, bazooka. And it's, it's pretty cool. And I picked the eighth, it's actually an eighth gen i7 Intel core in here. Um, and that was just for price because 
Um, otherwise, it would be a lot more expensive to do 9th gen or 10th gen or 11th gen. Or even, they have 13th gen now, which is crazy. Um, but it's still really powerful. It has six cores, and it's perfect. It's exactly what I need. Next up is the second heaviest part, the power supply. And it's really heavy because it is 750 watts. This is a CX750M um, series from Corsair, and it has 80 plus bronze efficiency, semi-modular, for the people that know what that means. And it's pretty powerful, it has 750 watts, and a PC needs power, so it goes through this, and it, and it uses the powers, and it, it does something, and it's really important. Um, and it allows for 750 watts, that's really important. And that's exactly what I need. It's priced well, it's certified refurbished from Corsair, and it's perfect. Okay guys, next up is the RAM. And RAM stands for Random Access Memory. And that means that the, that the PC can access this at any time, so it can have memory to put more power into processing. At least that's how I understand it. This is type DDR4, 32 gigabytes, 26 megahertz, 2600 megahertz, and it's two 16 gigabyte sticks, and it's pretty cool. Um, it's exactly what I need for recording videos and playing games and using my game capture, because it takes a lot of power and a lot of memory to run all those things, because I'm not just playing the game or just recording something. I'm doing all of it at once, so it needs a lot of power, a lot of memory, and that's exactly what I have. 32 gigabytes is exactly what I need. It's perfect, and it's also reasonably priced. Next up is the storage. Here it is. This is from Crucial. This is P2. This is a hard drive. It is one terabyte. One terabyte! That is a lot. That is way more than I need. So it's going to last me for a while without having to upgrade and get more storage. So that's pretty cool. It takes a lot of storage because my videos are really, really um, large files. So they're like one, two gigabytes. So you need a lot of storage for that. And that's exactly what I have. So, it's pretty exciting. Okay guys, next up is the case fans. This is actually three fans. This is certified refurbished from Corsair. This is SP120 RGB Elite. Dun dun dun! RGB Elite, man. So, it, I, I saw a picture of this when we ordered it, and it is rainbow RGB lights. It's gonna be so cool when it's on. And these just attach the case. They're from Corsair. They're really cool. They're exactly what I need to keep this whole thing cool and so it doesn't explode. Next up is the CPU fan. So this attaches right on the top of the CPU and you can see from the picture it looks really, really cool. Now this is from ID Cooling. It is a SE214XT ARGB, and it has all these little stickers on it um, of, like, certifications and awards and things. So it's really cool. It's gonna see, it's gonna keep my CPU cool so it doesn't overheat and then the whole thing shuts down because it has to cool off. So it's really awesome. It's really useful. This is the monitor. This is ViewSonic Gaming Omni. And this is a gaming monitor. It's 24 inch, 1080p, and it is, it's um, 165 hertz refresh rate. And refresh rate is really, really important for gaming. And that's exactly what it is. It's perfectly what I need. It's reasonably priced at $139.99. And I really like it. This is what I'm gonna be using. And it, it, I think it's pretty cool. Next up is the heaviest and biggest thing, the case. As far as size goes, this is all the other parts combined, quite literally, because it's a case. And this is a 4000D Airflow from Corsair. It looks pretty cool. It has a window in it, and it has slots for fans on the top, and it's pretty cool. You can even see the little power button. I love the detail. And it's exactly what I need. Last but certainly not least is the keyboard. 
I have already plugged this into my MacBook and I've already been using it because it's way too cool to wait before the PC is built. This is the HyperX Alloy Core RGB gaming keyboard and it looks so cool. It has all the function keys, the number pad, even has a gaming mode where it disables the Windows key so you don't lose your game because it closed it to open the Windows like search bar. And it can do all kinds of cool different effects and all kinds of things. It even has a scroll lock and print screen and all the, um, all, all the keys, all the function keys and everything. It's really cool. I really like it. And I, it was only $20, which is amazing. Okay, guys, it is finally time to build this PC. Oh, yeah. However, I need a little bit of assistance. That is much better. So this is my mom and my dad. Are you guys ready? Ready. All right, let's -a go. All right, there's the RAM, the first thing we're unboxing. Man, does this look cool. All right, and the storage. That tiny little thing? I thought, I thought this is like size of the box. What? Most of it is just the instruction booklet. What? This, this thing is tiny! CPU fan. And an installation guard. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's 3D printed or something. Whoa. This is crazy. So this just like goes on top of the CPU and then... It blows on this thing, and this thing looks cool, so it lights up and stuff. Wow! Go. Ooh, these things look slick, dude. I like the black. Ooh, they spin well. That's fun. Oh my gosh, these are looking cool on the case. Oh my gosh, these things look sick. Oh my Power supply. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Oh my. It looks like it has a fan inside of it. This is cool. It has a bunch of cords to go with it. Oh my. It's a really big cord. It's a double cord because it's 750 watts. It's big and heavy. It has a bunch of cords. And even a We'll power switch. Wow, this thing is cool. All right, the graphics card, the GeForce RTX 3050. Oh, there we go, okay, that's something. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh. My gosh, look at that. All right, let me rip this. There we go. Ooh, dude. This is it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. MSI GeForce RTX. Dun, dun, dun. It's really cool because you can see all the processors down here. Like, I've never seen one of these before, so this is just really cool to see. This is the monitor. Alright, let me open this up. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. And then add some parts to it. Whoa! Oh my gosh! So we have all the port, the, all the ports in here, and how it gets its power. Okay. And then like, I think this is like a mountain mounting bracket yeah. here. Whoa! What oh, is like little lights or switches, spot buttons on the bottom? Okay. This this it looks so slick because it doesn't have like big rims across it. Man, does this thing look cool! Wow! 
All right, the final and biggest part. We started with the smallest part and worked our way up. Oh my gosh. Uh, Maybe just pull it out like that. Maybe. Pull down on the box. Okay. nice too oh my gosh so this is what it's all gonna be inside of this awesome looking thing wow oh it has a window it has a window so you can see like the rgb fans inside oh here's my power switch oh oh my gosh and that's the usb and stuff i think that's how it connects to the oh it has a headphone jack too wow Wow. Nice. Wow, this is nice, dude. All right, it is now time. Time to start assembling everything because it's all unboxed. All right, so we are going to open up the case and see where things mount, maybe mount the power supply and motherboard. So uh, let's take this front part off. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, all right, let's start putting some things in place. Okay. I am computer mommy. All right, now we're going to put the power supply in. Here we go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The power switch and cord to the wall need to stick out. There we go, the screws line up. Okay. okay. Cool. Now we just screw that in there. There we go. Put the screws in. All right, we are installing the new fans, the RGB light up fans. Taking a while to screw these in because it's pretty hard. Um, next, we are going to install the motherboard. All right, we are going to put in the motherboard with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> and with the last screw, our beautiful motherboard is in, but not as beautiful as my mother. Aww. So. What's next? All right, guys, quick update. We have put the CPU fan in, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm holding a packet of, like, some type of heat transferring gel, and it sits on top of the, you paste it on top of the um, CPU, and then it transfers the heat to these copper strips on the bottom of this, like, like metal rack thing that's connected to the CPU fan and that gets all the heat in there and then the fan blows it out so then it keeps the CPU cool and stops it from overheating and it's a really cool process. Okay so now we're gonna install the graphics card which means that it's just gonna plug into this long PCIe 1 thing and I thought the SSD went in here but it actually goes in here but it goes right there so we just take this off and then plug it in there and line it up with the with the little like notch here um that should plug in i might need some help for this i don't I'm not great at lining this up uh it's hard to see it it is hard to see it i can kind of see it through the fans but i need to go from this direction uh That's it right there isn't it yeah right there there we go Ooh, and it snaps right in and it's hooked on through like this side panel thing. Um, wow, this looks cool, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. So, update here. We have everything wired. The uh, graphics card is now in. Um, we 
we have all of the fans plugged in to the RGB hub. We're trying to figure out the wiring here. And then we're going to put in the SSD. And turns out that the graphics card actually covers up the slot for the SSD. So we're going to have to pop it out and then slide it back in and then put it on top. But it's okay. We'll yeah. make it work. You live, you learn. Okay, guys, everything's put in, the SSD, the fans, the CPU fan, and even the RGB hub, but the wiring for that isn't the neatest, but it's okay. I don't really need that to be super fancy, because there's a few loose things. Um, but we're going to connect this to the monitor, connect it to power, and see if we can get to BIOS. So, let's do this. Okay. Switch on the power supply and then press on on the case. Ready? Let's go. Press it. Yeah. The moment of truth. LED went off. Okay. It stopped. It's back on. What is going on? Okay, might be rebooting a couple times. Oh, it might be rebooting, yeah, because everything turns off and then it turns back on. Okay. Oh, the LED went off. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We did it! Okay, so, so we, we gotta, gotta get the windows on a USB drive. Yeah, right. <gasps> oh, yeah! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Okay, let's get Windows 11 downloaded. Oh my gosh! We did it! We actually did it, dude! Oh! 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 One week later. Okay, guys, there was an unexpected delay. Right as I was about to get Windows on a USB drive and install it, I had appendicitis and had to have an emergency appendectomy. That all happened last Sunday, and it has been crazy, but I have been recovering, and I bounced back. I'm fine now, so now we're going to finish this. We have Windows on the USB drive, and we're going to install it, install Minecraft, and test it out. All right, guys, here is our USB drive with Windows. And I'm just going to plug it in and turn it on. There we go. Okay. And now we turn this on. This on. Ooh. Oh, this is so exciting. It should do try. Okay, there we go. Mm. That's always exciting. Press Dell or Escape. <gasps> well, that's that's not boot from a thing. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are now here in BIOS. I have an MSI gaming motherboard. So it's a little bit different than what the normal BIOS is right there. See, that's BIOS right at the top. And this is the boot priority right here. So this is how the computer boots. The top one is the main boot priority. So you just want to take our USB drive and drag it. And drag it right there. There we go. And now we can boot it from our USB drive and get Windows on here. Now we just have to reboot. And it should go up to Windows. <gasps> I saw a Windows thing for a second there. Okay, Windows setup, language to install, English, tied in currency. Okay, that's right. So, next, install now. 
Setup is starting. <laughs> oh, you can see a little um, progress bar on the bottom. All right, so we're going to put it on here, right? You want to put it on here? Yes or yes? Yes. All right, click next. Oh, it is now installing Windows. Copying Windows files. 1%! 2%! 3%! 4%! 5%! 6%! 7%! 8%! 9%! 10%! 11%! 12%! 13%! 14%! 15%! 16%! 17%! 18%! 19%! 20%! 21%! 22%! 23%! 24%! 25%! 26%! 27%! 28%! 29%! 30%! 31%! 32%! 33%! 34%! 35%! 10% every second, which is super fast. It's going to be done by the time I finish this sentence. Copying Windows files is also done. Um, so that's really exciting. Then it just has to install features, updates, and then finish up. And boom, there we go. And it's going very, very quickly, which is really exciting. Oh my gosh, features already done. Oh my, this is way quicker than I expected. Ah! Oh my gosh. Well, that escalated quickly because copying Windows files took a while. So I was expecting it. I was just expecting it to take a while, and now it's already done. <laughs> wow. And we're just gonna see like finishing up for like thirty to like thirty seconds to two minutes, and then it should be done, which is really exciting. <laughs> I'll let you know when it's ready. Okay, there's Windows again. It said on the, when it was saying that it'll copy Windows files, that it might restart a few times before it actually gets to Windows, but the fact that, like, it escalated so, oh, oh, just a moment. Okay. Oh, okay, let's start with region. Is this right? That is correct. Just a moment. That is the right keyboard layout. Should I skip that? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's skip that. Network. Important setup. It's not just any setup, it's important setup. Okay. Sit back and relax while we work our magic. And I love when there's like special messages like that. It's not just loading. Don't turn off your device! Well, not. You already got this far. Why don't I turn it off? Still setting things up. Don't turn off your device. Okay, it'll just it'll restart and then it'll continue. So it's, it's restarted. It was really quick. <laughs> Alright. Here, back to Windows. And, all right, just a moment. Account. Okay, now we add the account, and we should be in. Hi. We're getting everything ready for you. Thank you. This might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. Almost there! And the classic window sound. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! We have done it! We're now in Windows. This looks familiar. This definitely looks familiar, even though I've never used Windows before. Like, I've seen pictures and videos. Oh my gosh. Here we are! All right, so we have to do drivers, Minecraft, Chrome, and then that should be it. Now I have done all the customization, installed Chrome, Minecraft. We're going to do some Minecraft mods in a minute. But with the fans here, um, 
there's a little Corsair like control panel thing. And if I go right here, ooh, I can change them to rainbow. And that, that looks so cool. And I can even change it to go the other direction and make it fast, <laughs> which is so cool. These look awesome. And there's even more things and more controls I can do with it. Which, like, I can do that. I kind of like that. That's probably what I'm going to keep it on. But these are so cool. And now, <clears throat> we have Minecraft installed. So I'm going to log in there, and we're going to see how good the performance is without any mods. And we are going to put on the glass window on here and the back panel back on, and then move this to my desk. And then we're going to have put, put together the gaming setup on my desk. So here it is, guys, my gaming PC on my desk, ready to go. It's all set up. So let's open Minecraft and test out the performance. All right, loaded up Minecraft. The first load on a, on a new device is always the longest, so this might take a little bit. But it's going to open Minecraft. We're just taking vanilla, latest release, no performance enhancing mods. So then we can see how well it performs with the RTX 3050. And I will transfer my worlds on there in a few minutes, but not right now. So now we just have to wait for it to load. Okay, the Minecraft launcher just closed. Here it is. Okay, guys, so we are now in. Um, I do have to change my controls so I can use it left-handed. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, this is so smooth. All right, so we check uh, F3. We are at a hundred and like 110, 120 FPS, which is really, really good for no performance enhancing mods. Um, this is what, this is about the FPS I was getting with my MacBook um, with performance enhancing mods that and like a super low render distance, which really improves your performance. But this is with fancy graphics, all the whole nine yards, you know, all the highest settings, which is amazing that you can have such a great performance. So we're going to get Optifine installed and Fabric, so then we can use shaders, and then I can show you guys what the performance is with that. Okay, guys, I now have Optifine installed, so a little closer, you can see here it says modded. That means Optifine is now installed. And one more thing before I start up Minecraft. Hey Siri, gaming time. All set. Now that is pretty cool. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Well, there we go. It's on air, because I am recording. So, let's test out what our performance is. Okay, load it up. Oh, that is really fast. That is really fast. Okay, so we now have Optifine installed. Not bad. 165 FPS. That is much, much better. However, there's a performance enhancing mod that does even more than Optifine. And that is Sodium and Iris. So, I'm going to install Sodium and Iris and Fabric and then test that out and then install shaders. But I actually have to install shaders on here, so let me do that real quick. Shaders are now installed. We have complementary shaders. There we go, okay. Oh my gosh, 110 FPS. That is the same FPS that we were getting without shaders, with no, without Optifine, which that is amazing. That's exactly how I'm gonna play. This is definitely playable. And that is amazing, wow. 
It's so smooth. And shaders really, really enhance how the, how the game looks. And it looks so cool. Um, it's amazing that I can get 100 FPS because that is really, really smooth. Now, one more, because I have a ray tracing graphics card, RTX 3050, I'm able to do SUS PDGI shaders, which are ray tracing shaders. And I've never used, whoa, so this is path trace shaders. So they are super realistic. You can see all the like things in the water. There's a, even a bit of motion blur. This is amazing and also super customizable. Like the clouds look like real clouds. Like that is amazing. And this is just so cool. I actually don't really like the motion blur, so I'm going to turn that off. There we go. Okay, much better. But now you can see how smooth this is. This is how smooth it was on my MacBook with Optifine, which is amazing. Um, with no shaders. So the fact that I could use these is amazing. This will definitely be my new shader, and that is insane. Wow. So now, sodium. I now have fabric and sodium installed. So you can see it says fabric modded. And just gonna hop in to this world and see what the performance is. So this is supposed to um, perform enhance it even more than Optifine does. So, I should... Yes, this is definitely Iris. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to turn the brightness up. Okay. And now... Oh my gosh! So, I don't actually play with a high render distance, so I'm going to turn that down a bit to 7, which is what I play with. That, when I first, okay, that is 400 FPS. 400 frames per second are loading right now, which is insane. You can't see that on the monitor because the monitor is 165 hertz. However, this is super, super smooth, and that is amazing. So now... You just turn on shaders, complimentary shaders. Oh, okay, it's gonna take a little longer. Ooh, there we go. Okay, now let's try it. 120, 120 frames per second this time, which is amazing and so cool. Oh, yes, yes. Now that is really cool and really awesome. I am really, really happy about that. But that is just complimentary shaders. And then we have to uh, try Suits PTGI. Okay. Ooh, oh, you can notice a bit of lag. But it's about the same at 52 FPS on average. Which is really good, really smooth, about as smooth as Optifine. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty smooth. This is how I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, definitely gonna play with this because this is smooth. This is exactly how I would play, so. It's perfect. I'm gonna play with complimentary shaders, but still, it's really great. It's really awesome. I'm so glad that I built this PC. This is also really important and nice for videos because I can record the game audio as well as hear it and use a microphone, which is really, really cool. And I wasn't able to do that before, but it also has RAM and a lot of power. And so then I can actually have my videos at 1080p 60fps now when they were 720p with 30fps, which is a huge upgrade and amazing. So I'm so glad that I built this to also record videos because it is much more powerful and runs much better. And I can also use it for other things besides just recording videos and playing Minecraft. So you guys should see improved performance in my future videos. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. That is the story of how I built my gaming PC. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!